Now my film uh, follows him through this journey where he tries to turn this sort of bizarre coincidence into a new career. And uh, he got a lot of weird gigs. Every time he got a gig, he would call me up and say, you know, tomorrow I'm doing this gig, I'm doing that gig. And my first reaction was always like, that's just freaking weird. <laughs> like, this is a weird gig. This one night, I get a text from Lewis, and he says, going to Boston tomorrow. I say, oh, what, Harvard? And he texts back and says, yes. <laughs> I say, okay, uh, what? And so I give him a call. He knows nothing about what he's, he's supposed to do. He just knows that somebody at Harvard called him and asked him to come tomorrow for a paid gig and bring his suit. We get there, and these, these two kids pick us up from the bus station. And they're like quintessential Harvard kids. I mean, they've got tweed jackets on, and the glasses, and the whole thing. And I say, oh, you know, uh, uh, I know you've hired Lewis. I've been making a film about him for a few years. And I brought my camera gear, and I loved him. No, nothing. No, you can't film. And I said, well, you know, maybe, no, you can't film, no way. And, you know, I, of all the situations I've been in, he, this, these kids, these like 19-year-old kids were the, the toughest sell. I mean, these are like future attorney generals and like future Mitt Romneys that are, are telling me like, there's no way in hell I'm signing your release form and agreeing to do whatever we're about to do on camera. Uh, so I leave the camera in the car, and we pull up at this, at this building. So we go in this kind of unmarked door, and Lewis is, is kind of looking at me and sort of perplexed about what we're about to do. And we get inside, and we enter this room, and it's this round room full of academic books from like the 1800s. Lewis is really impressed, you know, I mean, he's never, never been to college, uh, thinks this is, you know, he's like, oh, we're, we're in the, this is the Illuminati. <laughs> the Illuminati. Uh, he's probably watching right now. And all these other kids start coming in, and they're all freshmen and sophomore. And th this platter comes out, a silver platter, like literally made out of silver, full of imported cigarettes and cigars from 25 different countries around the world. And they're passing this around and, and, you know, reveling in the imported smoke that's filling the room. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, what are they, what do they do? Like, this is just bizarre. And they point to the table and say, okay, this is a rush event where this is a rush night for new members to the Harvard Lampoon Society. I don't know if you know the Harvard Lampoon Society, but it's, a, it's the nation's oldest comedy magazine or something like this. And Lewis, what we'd like you to do is sit at this table and serve our new members drinks tonight. And I'm thinking, man, I really wish I had my camera for this. <laughs> All these kids start coming in, he's, he's pouring them drinks, and he's dressed up like, Barack Obama, the 44th president of the United States, who went to Harvard for his law degree. And they said, you know, hey, Lewis, can you, um, every once in a while, can you just like tell some jokes uh, to kind of like loosen up the crowd? So he's pouring them drinks, they're having a grand old time, and he goes out on, you know, they kind of like, let's quiet down, Lewis, and tell some jokes. Now, if you haven't seen the film, um, at a certain point in the film, Lewis gets a manager, and the manager uh, decides to put Lewis in front of a bunch of conservative audiences. So he writes him all this material that is supposedly very funny to conservatives. <laughs> now these kids, they might be future Mitt Romneys or future you know, Supreme Court justices, but they're, they're college liberals and they're at Harvard, and they think they're very smart. And so Lewis, you know, who's never, uh, never been to Harvard, never left the Bronx really before all this crazy stuff happened to him, 
he starts telling these jokes, and the jokes are really not working. Like, you know, things like, re-elect me and I'll have Joe Biden reading at a third grade level. Things that just like, everyone's just kind of like, <laughs> These are rich white kids looking at a Puerto Rican guy from the Bronx who's serving them drinks and making jokes that they think are below them. So Lewis gets paid, he gets a couple hundred bucks, and we, we leave the gig, it's maybe 10, 11 o'clock at night, and, um, and here we are on, on Harvard campus, and I'm, I'm thinking like, oh man, I really wish this was a scene in my film, because you have the, all these layers, you have, we, we find ourselves in front of the Harvard Law School, and I'm thinking, you know, let me, let me ask Lewis about uh, what Obama means to him and, and how he feels about how he, you know, what he just did for a couple hundred bucks to try to put his daughter through college. You know, is, is he okay with that? Would Barack Obama be okay with that? And instead he walks up to the door and knocks on and goes, I'm Barack Obama and I'm back. <laughs> And so I'm sitting there kind of cracking up and it's this woman comes down from, you know, writing some law paper or whatever and she opens the door and is like, uh, uh, can I help you? And Lewis just spooks and he's like, let's get out of here, we have to go. <laughs> so we're walking back and we, and we uh, we're headed back out of town, and I'm like, so what did, you know, what did you really think of, of that gig that you did tonight, and uh, you know, how, how did you think that went? And he said, he said, oh, all those Harry Potter nerds, like, they didn't get any of my jokes. 